Hello, bonjour, Alberta. Did you know that at least 238,000 people speak Francais in Alberta, and those numbers just keep on growing? Oui, oui, c'est vrai, it's true. And thanks to Shaw TV Community Access Programming, we get to reach out to everyone to let you know all about special people, places, events, and activities happening right here in this great province in both English and en français. That's right, mes amis. We begin the first part of our program in English, and then we repeat it en français. So stay with us. Restez à l'écoute. Bienvenue and welcome to Hello Bonjour Alberta. I'm Mark Lalonde. And I'm Anne Boiteau. Ours is the only bilingual community television talk show of its kind in Canada, produced in Calgary since 2012, thanks to Shaw TV's community access programming. Of course, with these episodes, we're celebrating Canada's 150th birthday all year long. Did you know that uh, the Scouts movement is not only an Anglophone movement, we also have a French-speaking um, uh, links uh, group of, of, of uh, scouts throughout the country. And we're very pleased today to have two very important guests <laughs> from the local troupe, Rachel Desroches and Roselyne Cyr. Welcome. West, the Western Thank you. District. The West, from the Western District of Les, les Scouts. Les scout. Le district des scouts de l'Ouest is Le what we call ourselves. Le district des scouts de l'Ouest, they call it. Very good. I wouldn't say we're important, but maybe involved. Very <laughs> yes. involved. I, I have to say, first of all, that Anne and I have known these ladies since all of our kids were, were yes. you know, and of course, very we small. all look exactly the same as we did then. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So very kind. Okay. Let's start off by finding out something about each of you. Let's start with you, Rachel. Can you tell us where you're from? how you came to Calgary if you yes. weren't born here, uh, how, what you did in your life, and, and how you got to this exalted position in, in, in the Scouts. I am definitely an import to Alberta, but from many, many years ago, and so now I feel that I am Albertan after 35 years of, of living here. But we came to uh, Alberta, my husband and I, back in 1979 when there was gold to be dug on the streets because the, there was a, a wonderful boom at the time. So it brought us here. We were going to stay for one year and then move on to perhaps to British Columbia and, and South and America. You came from where? We came from Ontario and um, fell in love with Alberta and Calgary so much so that we're still here and just enjoy it raising a f we've raised a family of two girls uh, who have gone on to higher education at this point and uh, but did go through the scouting mm -hmm. movement and so we're just um, empty nesters but yeah. um, were you from a francophone mm -hmm. uh, area of Ontario I was raised in a very small francophone village called La Fontaine, about uh, 90 miles back in those days from Toronto. And so uh, extremely small area, made it to the big city of Toronto and then headed west, young woman, uh, back in 1970. Of course, I, I also know your husband. Where is he from? Well, his family is originally from Colombia. He is an import, <laughs> if I can say that, to Canada. He's an immigrant, but from way back. And I met him in Toronto as he was pursuing an, a career in IT, as you've had. And so it was love at first sight, because I majored in, uh, in Spanish, and we just had that in common. He and I, his name is Jaime, of course, so. And your daughters speak French, Spanish, and English, don't they? That's right. Uh, was That's right. it them that got you involved in the in the in the Scouts movement? Well, uh, no, it was it was Roslyn actually. <laughs> Many years ago, she had given um, she was at church and had given a talk about Scouting and how wonderful it is, and I saw what these young youth were doing and how independent they were and how how well they were accomplishing a particular task that was assigned to them at the time. And I had these two little girls and I looked at them and I said, would you like to do that later on? And they said, yes. <laughs> and so when the time came for them to be of age, then uh, we got them involved. And of course, as with anything in Francophone, if you are not willing to give a little bit of yourself to make things happen, then they might not. And we, I got involved as a leader and Rosalind got me going and haven't stopped since. Great. 20 years now. Wow. <laughs> it's been a while. Yes. And you, uh, Rosalind? 
Well, um, I'm fr originally from New Brunswick, and I'm an Acadian French person, and from uh, Bathurst, which is a bilingual town, uh, majority speaking French, however. Um, and uh, my husband is also a Maritimer from New Brunswick, and we uh, moved here in 1979, just as you. Uh, as well and and uh, again as we fell in love with Alberta as well and uh, but we just always called New Brunswick home anyway <laughs> and have often uh, well, pretty much went home every year on holidays and so our children did get to uh, know their cousins and their relatives and their grandparents of course so um, but yeah we've been here 37 years and I have two daughters as well and both went to the Francophone school and uh, both married now and with babies, so I'm going to be grandmother for the third time on Monday. Oh, uh, wow. my, yeah, my one daughter is mm -hmm. having another baby girl this time, so I have a grandson, a granddaughter already. So that's pretty exciting in my life. Maybe they'll be scouts someday. I don't. Know. <laughs> so how did you but, get involved with the scouts? Uh, yeah, well, both. Um, when I was a young girl in, in Bathurst, I was in Girl Guides, and I was in, quite involved there for seven years, as a, and I went in to be a, an assistant leader. And then when I um, was approached, um, the year after scouting began here in, in Calgary, uh, it began in 86, or you know that's the year that it really took off. I guess they started a few years before, and it didn't continue. But um, in 87, I was approached, and. Uh, by the group leader at the time and he said would you like to be a scout leader and there was no second thought I said of course and my daughter was of age to start so she did six years in the scouting movement and back then it was called Scooty Gid boys and girls were involved like they, it was one movement with the boys and girls from with l'association which was the French movement so it was a great way for um, our family to to have extracurriculars, uh, extracurricular activities in French, and I thought this was very important for um, for our children, as my husband is francophile, but we mainly speak English at home. So, mm -hmm. so that's uh, now 27. Uh, this is my 29th year involved in scouting. Wow, amazing! Mm -hmm. And you were talking about, uh, you know, before we used to have the separations between the scouts and the guides. Now the scouts are both boys and girls from the very young age, right? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, the English scouting movement had more boys and they had Boy Scouts of Canada at one time. Now it's called Scouts Canada. With the association, we always had scouts and guides in one organization. Uh, but then the Girl Guides of Canada sort of went on their own. And then the Association des Scouts um, took girls in as members as well. So we became a, a um, um, joint girls and boys movement. I love that. And I'm trying to okay. remember the year, I think it was like way back in 98 or something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how big is the Francophone movement? Uh, in Canada. I'm wondering if you remember what the figure is. I th I'm thinking it's about 15,000 in Canada wow. at the moment. And, and we are over 40 million. N uh, not Francophone, but Scouts. Worldwide, oh. but worldwide, in Francophone yeah. Scouts in Canada, about 15,000. We're about 200 uh, out west, and yeah, so it, it, okay. it's a bit of a, a reflection of Western Canada and the distances between cities. And, but as we, and yeah. as, we heard, as we will hear soon, they carry more than their weight. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we we are very present. Okay. Even we, so, brief history of the Scouts it was started by Baden Powell. Uh, Lord Baden Powell. Lord and, Baden, and how long ago? Uh, well, Lord Baden Powell, we're celebrating uh, the 110th anniversary of Francophone scouting, mm -hmm. but it's actually about 121 years that uh, Lord Baden Powell started scouting, um, world scouting. It uh, started in, um, well, his first camp was in, yeah, 1907. So it's uh, it's um, it's been in existence for a long time. It's a world movement. Uh, there are scouts in almost every country of the world, um, and. In Canada, we have two associations. We have the English Scouts, which is Scouts Canada, and, and L'Association des Scouts Canada. Um, and we're the only country in the world that um, both have a voice at the, in, at the international level. Oh. So we're very oh, fortunate yes. that they recognize the Francophone organization. Um, and of course, in the world, there are some other French associations, but only one organization per country. Um, but this week is Baden-Powell week, 
uh, the anniversary is February 27, uh, 22nd. So yesterday was uh, his birthday, and it was also his wife's birthday, mm. um, February 22nd. So the Girl Guides and the Scouts celebrate this as Scout and Guide Week. Mm. And this year, there's a big event for the Francophone That you're, you're the major organizers uh, of. Out west, you? absolutely. Out west. Yeah. We, we had been thinking for quite a while at, to, at organizing what we call in the scouting movement a jamboree. And a right. jamboree is a kind of like a big hoop up, as you would know yes. in, in Western Canada. We have jamborees, but of, of a different nature. But it is a, a, it is a, get, a get together of, of scouts, and we have decided that in, in conjunction with the 150th anniversary of Canada and the 110th anniversary of scouting, that it would be a wonderful occasion to have this, what we call a jam, we'll call it jam for short, and it's a one week uh, of, of tons of activities that are, um, as we say, a la scout, the way scouts would do it. And what that means is the youth, as much as we can, will, will want, to, ha to, to participate, will choose to participate, thinking, firstly want because it's a good idea, choose to participate, yes I'm going, will prepare for it, they will raise funds to make their way across Canada to the, what we call the Carrefour, and I'll explain that in a minute, yeah. the gathering, and they will then enjoy the jam and do the activities and choose the activities that are more of an interest to them. They are, many of them are learning activities, educational activities that develop their physical, mental, emotional, social, and character and spiritual. All of what makes a complete person will be embodied in what we will be preparing. So they will execute in that sense. They will be at the jam and, and do the activities. They will um, evaluate how it's gone and how well it was how well it was organized and how what they profited from it and then they'll we will the last one is to celebrate and we will celebrate who we are as Canadians in particular who we are as Canadians after a 150 year of existence and I think mm -hmm. we will concentrate since you, we are with youth at what it is to be a Canadian today not uh, will there will be tons of historical content sure. to what we do but but I think we will want to reflect mm -hmm. on who we are uh, as scouts and as Canadians today and that's happening here in Alberta absolutely in what a better a province to hold <laughs> than that, right? Yes. Well, we happen to be here. Yeah, yeah that's we, great. we know how to party. So in, in, in <laughs> the south here, in the Calgary area? It, it'll be happening at Camp Woods on Sylvan Lake. Oh, okay. So, so a great in the facility. Middle. It's good. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a facility that's owned by Scouts Canada, mm -hmm. but uh, we have access to it. So um, it's a wonderful place to, to have a camp. Lots of room for tenting, activities, there's boating, there's kayaking, there's sailing. So how many um, people are you expecting? <laughs> well, Don't we'd, we'd love to have several thousand if we could, because a jam can have, you know, between 10 and, and several thousand people. <laughs> but as you said, we are dispersed and we're small, but we're mighty. Uh, we'd like to have 150, which we can comfortably accommodate because we are totally volunteer run. Oh, yes. So we've invited all yeah. scouts from across Canada uh, primarily Western. Uh, first of all, we want to have our core people show up, and then we are inviting the rest of Canada to come. They would be youth between ages uh, seven, seven and, and, and seventeen. And what dates is that, Jamboree? July first to July seventh. Mm. Oh, right and this year, 2017. Mm -hmm. We purposely picked yes. that date, yeah. and uh, yeah. we're going to have some fun activities. We're going to have a drumming circle. And uh, each day has a separate theme. We're going to have our historical theme and an uh, environmental theme. And uh, we're going to have a couple of outings to show them the history of, of Alberta as well. And um, so it's, it's going to be um, just a fun-filled week. I mean, we'll come home exhausted, but we'll say, oh, it was so much fun. And that's the way it, it should end, really. Mm -hmm. Everybody should go home with uh, good memories. Well, that, yes. that's, that's absolutely fantastic. And when is yeah. the cutoff to mm -hmm. register? Mm -hmm. You know, we like to put cutoffs, but we we can't <laughs> Frankly, refuse anyone yeah. who would sign up yes, even sure, at the last sure. minute. Oh, sort of that's thing. so and nice. And if scouting is anyone in anyone's heart, then of course. The um, but we uh, we're just anticipating so many interesting things, and I want to add to something that that uh, Roslyn mentioned because as part of 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 Heritage Canada. Unfortunately, we're going to have to cover that in the French section because we've will. run out of time. <laughs> really sure. sorry about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So, okay. uh, of course, uh, people can come to your website, uh, yes. which is being shown, um, if they need any further information. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. Thank Thanks you. Thanks to our, our team. Pleasure. Thanks Very to our pleasure. viewers uh, for watching us. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.